Hey, right now, communities across the country are taking action to prevent drug abuse and overdose deaths. Yes, tomorrow is National Drug Take Back Day, and Brandon Hospital in Hillsborough County is playing a critical role here in this initiative. 10 Tampa Bay's Nick Valturo is live at Brandon Hospital, where a news conference is planned in just hours. Hey, Nick. Hey, Caitlin Jamison, good morning. And yes, like we all have bottles like these, right? Pill bottles that we don't use, that are expired. They're either sitting in our kitchen cabinets, maybe in our medicine cabinets. And advocates here in Hillsborough County are really trying to urge the community to get rid of these unwanted or expired medications before they get into the wrong hands. And it's really a simple act that could end up saving lives, especially those curious children or their friends who want to be adventurous and sift through the medicine cabinets. Now that's why Drug Take Back Day provides a safe, convenient, and responsible way of disposing of prescription drugs while also sounding the alarm on the potential of abuse of medications. Now held by the DEA twice a year, collection areas are helping those in the community who want to safely dispose of their prescription meds that is not being used. And drug advocates warn can often be a gateway to addiction. Even have my own daughter when she was in high school, she got Xanax from a bottle of medication in a neighbor's medicine cabinet. So that's one of the first times she did drugs. So I've had it happen in my own family. But um, yeah, it can be devastating because a child, not only can they get a drug and possibly go on to addiction, they can also get a drug and overdose and die. Now, State Attorney Susie Lopez, along with Sheriff Chad Cronister will be here today at Brandon Hospital encouraging people to drop off their unused or expired prescription meds. They are also going to be giving away Narcan, which can reduce or uh, reverse the effects of an opioid overdose almost immediately. And really, they are encouraging parents to make sure they keep a can of Norcan, a bottle of Norcan on hand in their cabinet just in case someone does get into that closet, does get those prescription pills and winds up overdosing even accidentally. Yeah, Nick, so many stories about kids getting their hands on prescription drugs these days. Any advice for parents that might have these medications in their home? Yeah, and it happens everywhere, Jameson. You know, I lost a friend in high school, right after high school, got into a friend's medicine cabinet, wound up taking opioids and wind up passing out and dying in his sleep. So it, when these medications like these are accessible and easily accessible for that matter, it really presents a serious danger. So what they're trying to do is tell everybody, don't keep these medications just lying around in the kitchen or in your bathroom medicine cabinet. Make sure they're locked up, especially anything like opioids that someone can get their hands on and can really wind up in a terrible situation and put their lives in danger. For now, reporting live in Brandon, Nick Voltero, 10 Tampa Bay. A personal story there for you, Nick. Nick, thank mm -hmm. you. In just hours now,